Hello everyone! In this tutorial we are going to learn how to install a Creativo team as well as importing a pre-built website. Alright, so I'm assuming that you already have a hosting um, account created and you have WordPress installed. If you don't have WordPress installed, you can follow the um, online tutorials that exist on Google to learn how to install WordPress. So. After you buy Creativo, you will be uh, receiving a zip file of the team. It's usually called creativo.zip file. Or depending where the uh, purchase is being made, you can actually end up with a longer zip file. But in essence, all you need to know is that you actually need a zip file to install the team. So I'm going to go to my dashboard, appearance, and then teams. So by default, I have the um, 2022 team installed, which is a basic WordPress uh, team that comes with every WordPress installed. All right, so next I'm going to click on Add New. And then I'm going to click on Upload Team. Choose File. And I'm going to navigate to my Creativo zip file. As you can see, this is a zip file. And I'm simply going to click on open and then click on install now. The team has been successfully installed. You can see here the message and I'm going to click on activate. After the team has been activated, we can see the welcome message of Creativo and that's pretty much it. Now if I go to visit my site, you can see that we have the Creativo team installed. Let's go to Dashboard and go to Creativo Welcome. And you can see that we have here different tabs. We have the team options, which basically controls all the team options of the team. Let's go back to the Welcome. We have the Demos tab, which allows us to actually import uh, pre-built uh, creative websites with just one click. All right, so these are all the available pre-built pre uh, websites or demo templates. And you can see here that we can choose our page builder. This is a feature of Creativo 7.7. .7. So make sure that you are always updated and have the latest version of Creativo installed. All right. So you can switch between Elementor or VP Bakery Page Builder if you want to use the old page builder. We strongly recommend that you switch to Elementor because it allows you to not just build your uh, website in a lot easier way, but also you have control over your header and footer area. Basically, you can control how your header looks like on both desktop and mobile devices. So for this example, I'm going to use Elementor and I'm going to import the main um, template, right? The main website of Creativo. I'm going to click import or I can cl click on uh, preview, but I'm going to click on import. And now we have the message that tells us what exactly is going to be installed and activated. We have the Elementor plugin, we have the Creativo Elements plugin, Contact Form 7, Slider Revolution and WooCommerce. So all I have to do is click on import now and all the contents, widgets, team options and slider evolution will be imported. I'm going to click on import and wait a few seconds or up to two or even three minutes. Okay. So the plugins are being installed now. We are reaching contact form. Now it's slider evolution followed up by WooCommerce, I believe. The exact order of the plugins listed here will be the exact order, order of the plugins that will be installed and activated on your site. And now we're going to start importing the content. Because we choose to use Elementor, we are going to first analyze the Elementor kit and it will be installed depending you know, on the demo template that was selector, selected. So now the posts are being imported, the pages, widgets, sliders. And now we have been informed that um, the install has been completed, the import of the Creative Domain. I'm just going to click OK, close this message, 
and then go to visit site. So as you can see, now we have the main Creativo uh, website imported. And we can just start working on our new site. We can change all the content here using Elementor. We can also customize and change the header, the content, as well as the footer here, right? So this is the footer area. And we can change all of these sections using Elementor, all right? So that's it for setting up Creativo, installing and uh, importing a template. Uh, see you next time in the next tutorial.